In this session, we will have a look at battery pack sizing. So a Tesla car has 400 volt battery pack and a normal scooter has 48 volt battery pack. The normal scooter comes with 48 volt 30 AH of battery pack. So what does that mean and how are the specifications decided? So 48 volt denotes the voltage of the battery and overall system and 30 AH denotes the overall capacity of the battery pack. Now how to come up with the specifications? To understand this, let's initially discuss about the voltage of the system. Now the voltage of the battery pack is dependent on following two to three parameters. First is the overall power rating. Let's say overall power rating is 100 kilowatt which is equivalent to that of Tesla. So power is equal to voltage into current. So if we decide to have 48 volt system, then the current rating will be 100 into 1000 divided by 48, which gives 2083 ampere. Now you can imagine conductor or wire required for such heavy currents and also the resistive losses as it is dependent on current. Resistive losses is given by I square Rn which eventually becomes huge. Now if we increase the voltage eventually current reduces and that is the reason that Tesla has 400 volt battery pack which brings current down to 250 ampere. Secondly the battery pack voltage is also dependent on the motor operating voltage. So let's say if Tesla uses 400 volt motor power train then the battery pack needs to be in close range to 400 volt or else we will have to step up or step down the voltage according to the requirement. Now how is the motor voltage decided? This will be covered in the powertrain station by Rishikesh. Second comes the capacity which is represented in ampere hour. Just like in your cell phones, it is mentioned as 2500 mAh, 5000 mAh. So that is nothing but the capacity. So for that, initially what we need is energy consumption parameter which is represented in watt hour per kilometer. This parameter is given by powertrain team to the battery team for calculation. And this will again be covered in the session of powertrain sizing by Rishikesh. So now let's say we get an input of 23 watt hour per kilometer from powertrain team, which is equivalent to normal Activa type scooter. Now what we do is firstly decide the range. So if we want to have a range of 100 kilometers, Simply multiply energy consumption by the range. So this will be 23 multiplied by 100, which gives 2300 watt hour, right? Now divide this by operating voltage, which is let's say 48 volt. So you get 47.9 AH and round it off to 48 AH. So now your overall battery pack spec is 48 volt, 48 AH. Now that you have freezed the battery pack specs, but you know that this overall battery pack is made up of large number of cells which are arranged in particular manner. Just to give an example, there are almost 7000 cells in Tesla vehicle. So how are the cells arranged in the battery pack? Let's have a look over it. Now to begin with, let's consider a battery pack of 48 volt 30 AH. So yes, 48 volt denotes the voltage of the battery pack and 30 AH denotes the overall capacity of the battery pack. Now let's consider a single 18650 lithium ion cell which has following specifications. Nominal voltage is 3.7 volt and capacity is 2500 mAh which is 2.5 AH. So in general the cells are connected in series and parallel in battery to get overall performance. So how it is done? To find the cells in series, the formula is number of cells in series is equal to battery pack nominal voltage divided by cell nominal voltage. In this case, it would be 48 divided by 3.7, which equals 12.9 and which we round off to 13 as there can't be 12.9 cells. So it needs to be rounded off. So the cells in series are 13. Now to find out the cells in parallel, the formula is total pack capacity divided by each cell capacity. 
so 30 divided by 2.5 equals 12 so there are 12 cells in parallel so overall pack config is 13 as 12p let's consider another example of three wheeler application so for a three wheeler the battery pack is of 48 volt and 100 ah and single cell is of 3.7 volt and 20 ah prismatic cells which are larger in dimensions so in this case cells in series is equal to 48 divided by 3.7 is 13 s as above and cells in parallel is 100 divided by 20 is equal to 5p so the overall battery pack config is 13 s 5p now how are the cells connected in the battery pack let's consider the three wheeler pack before that just a prerequisite we know that for the cells to be connected in series we join positive of first cell to the negative of second and negative of second cell to the positive of third and so on at the end voltage increases similarly we want to connect cells in parallel we will connect positive of first cell to positive of other and so on and the current or let's say capacity increases now in our case 13 s 5 p so firstly what we do is connect 5 cells in parallel in the first row so we connect positive of all the cells together so this becomes 1 s 5 p that is 1 cell in series 5 cells in parallel output is 3.7 volt and 100 ah next we go to the second row so in the second row we join all the negatives of the cell and the negative of that cell with the positive of first row so this becomes 2s 5p next third row will again be of five cells their positives are connected together to form 5p and that is connected to the negative of second row to form 3s 5p and so on this process continues till 13s 5p so in this manner we arrange the different cells in series and parallel according to the dimensioning and bms requirement and the battery pack is formed now just for more understanding try out by yourself this arrangement for various battery pack of available scooter three wheeler four wheelers in the market and see how interesting it is in the next session we will talk about overall battery pack integration